There's so much going on in the world of automotive lighting, we thought we'd take a minute and do a breakdown of everything that we see going on. There's new products, there's new brands, there's crazy projects. We have a lot of stuff going on, so let's get into it. My name is Chris Nelson. I'm the founder of Headlight Revolution. I'm currently the chief marketing officer, and I want to introduce Josh Bieberg. You've probably seen him on our channel. He's in our ads. He's in the install videos. Josh has been working with me for like seven years, but he's normally been behind the camera. I've got Chris, literally the founder of Headlight Revolution here. So he's going to go ahead and tell you a little bit more about the products that have came out in the last year. But right now, we're just going to start out with one line of products that is from GTR Lighting. We've done a lot of installs with GTR Lighting products, but we don't do the headlight housings and taillights because this is so new. Listen, GTR Lighting has been one of the most popular brands that we've ever sold. Everybody loves this stuff, the LED bulbs, for fog lights, turn signals, you know, off-road lighting. They even used to have flexible strips. The company has evolved over time and it's more than just a light bulb company today. You've got these fully LED replacement housings for a bunch of vehicles. We've got uh, the C6 Corvette. You've probably seen that's a really popular headlight. So that's the one that looks like the C8? Right, Correct. major yeah. facelift. You can take your C6 and make it look like a C8. You've got uh, some reflector LED headlights for the Ford Ranger, the Toyota Tacoma, and now there's a Dodge Ram headlight and taillight, all from GTR Lighting. Before this product line, the only thing you could get from GTR Lighting were LED bulbs. Now granted, they're probably the best LED bulbs in the world, so we have high hopes for the headlight and taillight product line coming out. Thankfully, I've actually made a lot of videos on these, the ones that were listed right there. Go check that out on our Headlight Revolution YouTube channel where we go in depth and then I show up compared to stock and then another popular brand, Morimoto. Occasionally, I would put the GTR lighting housing up against the Morimoto and they come out pretty good when it comes to the price point and the light output itself. The headlights for the new stuff is great, but something else that we're seeing being developed in the aftermarket are headlight upgrades for older vehicles. So you have really two classes of products. You've got the old style sealed beam headlights. Morimoto has the, the sealed series where they come in the different sizes and the styles and they look black with like the projector stuff. But now there's a product from Holly called the Retrobrite. It's all the same sizes, fits all the classic cars. It gives you that modern light output, but it looks stock. Do you have one of those? Yes. So I know you've seen this on our channel, the Holly Retrobrite. It's a collaboration between Morimoto and Holly themselves. There you are. So you know all about them, I'm not talking to you. Guys, they have two different colors. They have the 3000K, which is that warm white light. That's gonna give you that OEM look. This is gonna be a really incredible replacement. And we've done so many installs that we've seen the before and afters. If it comes to light output, these things are where it's at. That 5700K is a little bit brighter than the 3000K, but all around a really good product. I love that they came out with this because it's just what the industry needed. When this came out, it was literally like a light bulb moment. Like why didn't this come out sooner? And we've seen this product now at SEMA, at the Performance Racing Industry Show in Indianapolis. People are just going insane because it seems like everybody's wanted this product. We've had people say, I don't even want to drive my classic car anymore because it's scary. At nighttime, all I have is pencil beams. I've got this nice car. It's my baby. The last thing I want to do is bring it out on the road at night and like hit a deer or something. Well, those lights get worse and worse every year too, right. the Sylvania lights. And anything halogen sealed beam is going to decay over time. These don't. Solid state LED, modern technology, but a period correct look. These are amazing. And if you have a newer vehicle than this, like early 2000s to late 2000s, Morimoto has a ton of new headlights. Let me read just some of the headlights that Morimoto's came out with in the last year for the older generation vehicles. The 06 to 08 Dodge Ram, the 2008 to 2010 Ford Super Duty, the 11 to 16 Ford Super Duty, the 07 to 14 GMC Yukon, the 09 to 20 Nissan Frontier, the 10 to 13 Toyota 4Runner, the 08 to 14 Subaru Impreza, the 12 to 15 Toyota Tacoma, and the 07 to 13 Toyota Tundra. The fact that you can get a new headlight for an 06, 07, 08 truck that was just made in 2021 or 2022 is amazing. I don't know if you've ever driven like an older car today, but all around you, all these modern cars headlights are so bright that you get this like 
this, this, this effect in your eyes where, okay, at night, if you're in a bright room and you walk into a dark room, you go blind for a minute till it adjusts. That's what happens when people with these older vehicles are driving and then somebody with, you know, laser beam headlights from a new Mercedes or Audi or something come up and they're driving at this level of brightness and the, the car coming at them is at this level of brightness. They literally experience some blindness. Having the new LED projector headlights from Morimoto literally solves that problem. They look cooler, yeah. When you're alone, it helps you see better, that's great. But driving around with other traffic, these actually have an impact on how safe it is to cruise around town. So speaking of Morimoto, I know we do a lot of reviews on their products, but they're doing this campaign that says, just say no to stock headlights. And I hear that you sent out your Super Duty to Morimoto for this video. Yeah, I was just in the Morimoto studio for their latest horsepower and headlights video and Bear thought my truck would be perfect for a promo, so it is in the newest Morimoto promo, yeah. I have that promo right here. I'm gonna play it for you guys. I have yet to see it. Let's go for it. What does it mean to be the best? It means you have to put in the time and effort to climb your way to the top. It means you move in confidence because you trust yourself and you look damn good doing it. So that was the Atlanta Custom Wraps Mustang that they've got in the video. Atlanta Custom Wraps, that was Justin, right? He was on Fastest Car on Netflix, that's a big deal. Let's keep going. At Morimoto Lighting, that's our mission, to outshine the rest. There it is, there's, there's, there's my truck, woo! There's a world of adventure and excitement waiting for you. You, join us and see it for yourself. like Blade Runner or Cyberpunk. Morimoto is your ticket to the world's best automotive lighting. I get it. Get Morimoto. Good work, guys. And it transforms your sweet. life. Super cool. That was pretty cool. I gotta admit, I like seeing automotive lighting companies make something above and beyond instead of just the AB comparisons. Even though that's what we want, something like this is something we didn't know we wanted. I love that. I mean, we've, we've made cool videos like that too. We've done uh, 4th of July stuff. We've blown things up. We've run things over. We've melted them. My videos are good too. Hey, what about me? <laughs> <laughs> we got to talk about off-road lights. There's two big things that happened recently. Um, Dow Dynamics came out with the SS3 product line. And at SEMA, we went and stopped by, we talked to the owner, Paul, and he showed us some new products that are backlit. Um, I mean, I just want to point out, first of all, pods are super cool because like light bars, I remember when the first light bar came out, it was a single row light bar from Vision X. And it was on the magazine cover of some magazine. And I looked and I was like, wow, that's really dumb. But it was like the first time I've ever seen it. But then what happened is it turned into like the only thing anybody wanted. We've used a ton of light bars. You have a light bar on your truck. We've sold a million light bars, but for some reason, times are changing like they always do. And it's shifted. What are you seeing with like the trend on light bars to pods? So nobody wants light bars anymore. Right. Everybody has kind of inflated the market with their crap cheap Chinese bars. I do have a Vision X light bar. However, I know that Morimoto came out with those four bangers. We've tested them. I know you've seen that video where I tested the SS3 Max and the four banger HXB, their highest end pod. And I like them both. But the fact that you can now use those pod lights as the light bar itself is pretty epic. A pod light light bar is so much better than a cheap light bar. Okay, so Vision X made something called the Unite, which is actually like designed to be a light bar. It's a bracket that you put all the different pods on. That's cool. And then people take other smaller pods and mount them side by side. And now we're starting to see things come out where 
you can link the pod. So Diode Dynamics has a linkable pod. So there's a whole bunch of different options out there. So you can make a pod light bar. The cool thing about that is, you know, it's not just one beam pattern, one style. You can go back and forth, yellow, yellow, white, white, yellow, yellow, whatever you want to do. You can have different beam patterns and like customize the beam to whatever you think the ideal beam is, but it also is a more modern look. And I think that's really important because a lot of people are just getting light bars for the sake of having light bars. They're like, oh, I can't use it anyway. It's not even powered on. It's broken. I just have it up there for style. I mean, you guys saw it at one point in time for jokes. People were just putting like a plank of wood on their roof because it looked like a light bar. Like people just don't even care anymore. They were all the rage. Do you remember our 4th of July sale years and years yeah, ago? Light, light bars. bars! We've got Bell, light bars! This year is all about light bars. 15% off every light bar on the website. Headlightrevolution.com We got all the best brands, curved... Or I will admit though, it's probably pretty expensive to get pod lights right. as the light bar. So that's why people want it, is because it's not really quite obtainable. What is it, a $300 pod, you have 20 of them. Yeah, I mean, point taken. Yeah. But you gotta pay to play. The thing about the Dow Dynamics product line is when they came out, they were blowing everybody out of the water. We have done the test, we did a shootout for pods. They're brighter and better than the stuff that we tested from Baja, from KC, from Rigid, from Vision X, from Oxbeam, from like, how many did we test? Like 14 different pod lights? It was a ton. And Dow Dynamics kicked butt on that, um, really kind of challenged the entire market to step up and do better. The other thing that's come out more recently is the Morimoto four banger line. Yeah, the lights only have three LEDs, so why isn't it called a three banger? I get it, but it doesn't matter. Four banger is such a cool like automotive term. I can't tell you how many times I've referred to my car, my friend's cars as a four banger. I love that terminology. But the cool thing about the four banger is you have two different colors, you got two different power levels, and you have three different beam patterns wide spot combo. So you can really like mix and match whatever you want. Like let's say you were gonna mount these on the Morimoto A-pillars. I would personally choose like a combo or a spot beam pattern. But if I'm gonna put this in a fog light housing, cause they do have brackets for their fog lights. It's a no brainer, wide beam. Right, wide beam. 90% of our customers at Headlight Revolution buy a wide beam. Now I heard that the four bangers, the Morimoto four bangers are SAE compliant, whether you get the HXB or the NCS in use in your fog lights, right? You can, you can take the wide beam pattern from any four banger, white, yellow, low end, high end, and put it in a fog light and you can use them on the road. They've been tested by a independent third party mm -hmm. laboratory and they meet all the requirements. They are officially SAE compliant for use in a fog light. That's pretty wild. It's huge news. That's huge. It's not easy to do. Not everybody can do it. Not everybody has. There's a ton of people selling LED off-road lights for fog light applications that have not gone through that certification. And if you live in a state that cares, you could be setting yourself up for a bad time if you're not using the right parts. The one last thing that I think that we need to tell everybody about is that we are growing rapidly. And there's a reason you probably haven't seen as many videos come through the Headlight Revolution YouTube channel as normal. We are building a brand new state-of-the-art studio. I mean, we've been doing videos since 2009, and we've got hundreds of millions of views. You have one that's hit over three million now. Yeah. If you've watched the channel long enough, you know that we are really passionate about making sure that when people go out of their way to work hard and make money, that what they spend it on is actually what they wanted. I'm so sick of people getting something that's garbage. We wanna help you guys avoid that. Make sure that when you spend your money, it's spent correctly. So that's what we're doing. We're gonna be going over new products all the time here. So definitely like and subscribe on headlightrevolution.com on YouTube. If you wanna know what we have to offer for your vehicles, go to headlightrevolution.com, type in your year, make and model, and you'll see everything there.